Hey guys, here today I have the curator deck with you. Um, this deck is very, very nice. It has a very simple but yet effective box design. It is designed by Emmanuel Jose, um, and the cards have some of the most unique faces I have ever seen with interesting and different jokers. I'd have to give this deck a 9.7 out of 10 because of that. So, um, we'll get right into the box. The two large faces of the box, the back and the front, are white, whilst all the sides of the box and bottom and top and everything are red, which is a nice colour scheme. It says curator. Um, the O actually um, is one of the handles of the scissors. Um, the scissor obviously lead into two blades. One of them is black with a white circle and the other blade um, has white lines that get um, less frequent and thinner as they go downwards to the blade. Um, it has Emmanuel Jose's signature um, and it says LTD Artist Edition. LTD Artist Edition and Curator are in the same font in simple block capitals whilst Emmanuel Jose's signature is looping and flowing which is a really nice contrast. On this side, it says curator, um, with white on red, which is nice. It has the same block capitals again. On the other side, it says curator, and exactly the same. On this um, bottom of the box, it says manufactured by United States Playing Card Company, Alanga KY um, 41018, made in USA, um, in black on red, which is nice which is um, a nice colour scheme on the bottom. It says, um, has the House of Playing Cards logo, which is H-O-P-C, and it actually does say House of Playing Cards, which flows through the H-O-P and C. The H-O-P and C leave a gap at, um, to allow it to do that. It says House of Playing Cards on the bottom as well. Um, that is in a white and grey font, which fades. It says www.emmanuelhose.com on the top with the white on the red. On the back of the box, it says Emmanuel Jose on the bottom in the same font again, um, which is a nice consistency for me throughout the box. It has, I'm guessing, his logo, which is a spade, as well as an E, um, like E spade. Um, at, at which I've just noticed is actually EJ if you like take the. Um, triangle out it is EJ. So um, the hole inside the box is red which is um, another nice touch to this box. Okay so we'll set the box down right there Oops, and we'll get into the cards. Um, I'll give you a description of the back design now. Um, there are two scissors, this is a mirrored back design, two scissors um, in a shield, the shield has a 3D effect, um, which some of it is black and white. The whole back design on every single card is black and white. There is a wreath there with two leaves um, crossing over each other, just at the back. Um, on each side of these um, is a flower, also in the shape of a diamond, which look to be tulips, and the actual flower part of the flower is a diamond. The, the borders on this deck are nice. It has um, a thin black border and then a figure of eight except the um, eight is curved and then yet another border on the inside of that um, which is it goes straight and then it goes in and out again to create a right angle which is very nice um, and the overall back design is nice. You get um, a quote from Emmanuel Jose on this ad card. It just tells you about how he made um, the curator deck. I'll leave that face up. You get the how you get on the back of this um, the back design and the House of Playing Cards logo, which I've already described to you. Um, with this deck, you get two jokers, which you can do a really nice effect with. I'll try and show that to you. So you can see him right there, he's all happy juggling balls, and then he is sad and he's dropped his balls. So you get two jokers which are like that. In this one, he is sad, 
and he has dropped all his balls. Um, he um, is sad and he looks like something in the circus as you can see by his hat with the stars. There are two stars on each side. This one has a red star with a black outline on each side. All the balls represent the suits. Um, his hands are very detailed, especially on this one, as you can see his hands are bending. He is juggling the balls and instead of um, red um, outlined in black, this is black outlined in red on the stars. So, as you can see, these are very nice jokers and very different design. Um, out of all the ace, um, the face cards, sorry, I'd say the ace of spades is actually the least detailed. Um, as you can see there, it's just a phoenix spreading out all its feathers um, and its tail which goes to shape with the spades. Um, sorry, goes to shape with the spade. Um, shape in the middle. So, all these cards are different. They are really, really different and interesting cards. As you can see, this, all the people on these are silhouettes, mostly. So this one is a boy on a swing. This one is a jacket. Somehow, this is a spider's web with very detailed um, thread. This is a noughts and crosses game. This is a kebab. Ke two kebabs, actually. Um, those are winter's trees with a wolf. And as you can see, red riding hood right there. Um, th that's counting sheep. Um, that's a squirrel. That's knitting. And that's a jack-in-the-box. The cut cards are very nice. The queen bee and toads, um, presumably from the princess and the frog. Um, that is a, the ace of diamonds is a compass, a merry-go-round horse, and as you can see, its fur is very detailed. Well, the head, and ev um, the head, mane and everything. Um, this is two children on the seesaw. As you can see, they are um, silhouettes, like most of the um, figures on this. Um, this is a boy flying a kite. Well, actually, a girl flying a kite, sorry. Um, that's Humpty Dumpty, um, I'm guessing. That is a matador, and with one of the diamonds being his flag, which is very nice. Um, that seems to be Disco. That is a stag. Um, two stags, which seem to be drinking water. As you can see, the, some white lines go right through the... Um, right through the diamonds on the bottom so it gives the effect of them standing on the water that's a drink um, that's a pain painting which is this is my personal favourite card um, this is Jack and the Beanstalk um, that is a uh, two women dancing if we flip it over um, a mirrored image right there Ooh, my hands are hurting um, the king of diamonds is a lion I especially like this card as well um, this is a boy sat on a rock with a crown and the rocks seem to have snow of them and one of the rocks has a sword stuck into it as if it's King Arthur with the sword in, in the stone. Um, that is, this is my one of my favourite cards as well. Um, it has a dancing person inside the swan's beak but also has the swan's eye design in that. There are two feathers as well. Um, my favourite card is Jack of Clubs. I actually don't particularly like this one. Um, I think it's Jack and Jill. I'm not sure. Um, this is like seems to be like um, a Christmas wreath. That's a piñata. That is a Christian necklace, and that is a chair being um, floated up by balloons, which is very nice. This one, you can see the light shining down on the balloons. Um, this is a strong man, the Six of Clubs. Um, that is a guitar with also a club shape inside the guitar. Um, that is um, a man with a gun, um, which is one of the unsilhouetted cards. The club actually represents the gun barrel. Um, that is a jet. Um, with one of the clubs being its engine, I think. Um, this is a baby with a dummy, and this one made me laugh when I first saw it. Um, that is a radioactive sign, I believe. Um, two cobras, which are in late 
interlaced together, which is nice. A chessboard with the queen killing the king. Um, a lumberjack. And as you can see, all these cards are very detailed. I'll just go through the last one so you can see the few last ones. Okay. So, as you can see, um, why I like this deck is all the face cards are different. And they do represent each different things. Which is a very nice touch. And I like this deck a lot. Um, the handling is brilliant. It feels a bit different to maybe a normal bicycle deck. Um, and it goes and springs quite well, as you can see. Um, the spread with the back design looks nice. Um, it fans, I believe, very well. Um, and it looks very interesting with all pit fans. Uh, you can actually catch if I, a bit of the design, as you can see on the Nine of Hearts and the King of Hearts just there. Um, this actually does, I've just noticed, all pit fans decently well, which is very nice. So, um, that was the Curator deck review. I do like the colour scheme of this deck. Um, it, ju it sticks to the colour scheme very nicely throughout the box and the cards. Um, I would have to rate this deck a 9.7 out of 10 because it because of its original design. And surprisingly, the Ace of Spades is actually the least detailed card, I reckon, as far as I can gather. So, that was the Creator Deck Review. Um, if you enjoyed the review, please um, rate, comment, and subscribe. It would be very great if you could subscribe. Um, so, I'll see you guys next time in my next review, or maybe something else, I don't know. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.